Um, hi, I'm Terry from Time Bump and Beyond and I'm joined with the lovely Carly today and we're at the Seacombe Birth Centre and Carly's going to tell us a little bit more about this wonderful facility and how it facilitates um, the area and works in partnership with Arrow Park as well. So Carly, can you tell me a little bit more about the centre when it opened and um, what, you know how do you facilitate everybody? So the, the centre opened in May earlier this year um, and it's run by a team called the Highfield team. Mm -hmm. So what our team aims to do is look after ladies who are choosing to have a birth outside of the hospital setting. Wow. So we do work for Arrow Park Hospital, mm -hmm. um, we're all part of the same team but like I said it's to uh, facilitate births either here in the birth centre mm -hmm. or if the lady we would like a home delivery oh, so that's wow. what we're offering for, for low yeah. risk ladies yeah so we scream vigorously throughout the pregnancy mm -hmm. to make sure that everything is low risk and normal for that woman mm -hmm. um, although we want to use the centre we want it to be safe as well so if any lady did fall into the high risk category we would be suggesting that she delivers up into the hospital and um, mm -hmm. you've had really um, a good uptake really yeah. yeah and when do um couples and parents do we find out um, about the facility, about the centre, because when I had my little girl, she's three now, this wasn't available, so I think it's absolutely fantastic. Well, we're um, aiming to um, let people know from as early as booking. So yeah. we do uh, the first initial booking appointment actually here in the centre, yeah. which is great because we can bring the ladies in and show them around. Mm -hmm. We've had a really good uptake from that. Yeah. Um, but women can be referred anytime throughout the pregnancy. Yeah. Ideally, it'll be from early on, so mm -hmm. we can get to know the rest of the team. But, yeah. you know, even if just before the due date, they decide that they'd like to deliver here or the hospital, Hospital, other community midwives can refer to our team. Yeah, and you mentioned before that um, to me when we were talking that it's a real home away from home, which I absolutely love. Um, so what other kind of, um, they've got the pool here, what other things can they use um, as part of their Well, it's a lovely big food. space, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Women feel relaxed um, in their own home environment, mm -hmm. but for not um, not every lady wants to deliver at home. That mm -hmm. might be because they've got other children that will be there at the time, or if space is an issue. Yeah. So this is a good middle ground, really. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of space to mobilise and use. Um, you know, we've got the pool, like you mentioned. That's mm -hmm. the main draw for women. It's a yeah. fantastic form of pain relief and really relaxing. Mm -hmm. um, and the women tend to, you know labour really well yeah. here because they are relaxed as well um, we've got the birthing chair as well which is you know well used mm -hmm. um, and it, you know it's just use the space how you want really you know right. make it home from home yeah we invite women down and the partners throughout the pregnancy so when they do come here they feel at home and comfortable lovely and you mentioned before that um you have like a coffee morning you know once every month and um, couples can come to meet their midwives and meet the rest of the team. So when is, when is that on? Yeah. So it's the first Wednesday of every month mm -hmm. um, and it's ideal for anyone who's not been to the centre but might be interested to come and have a little look mm -hmm. or you know for the other ladies who are already booked with the team to come along and meet the rest of the team and midwives. Mm -hmm. There's six of us in the team and yeah. although you'll have one named midwife it's a good idea to meet all the rest of the team so you'll definitely know who'll be with you in labour. Oh fantastic. So then they really have that continuity of care the whole way through their, their birthing experience. Yeah and, that, and that's the aim it. it's not just about the birth centre or the mm -hmm. home birth it's to offer the continuity of care mm -hmm. so like I mentioned although you'll have the one named midwife we try and encourage some of the other midwives to do appointments throughout the antenatal period and mm -hmm. um, you know so that continuity is continuing from the team not just the one midwife oh that's lovely thank you so much for your time thanks and, for coming uh, thank you <laughs>